only you can pre-wet your filter so that you can make sure to prevent that initial papery filter taste in your final cup of coffee and also pre-warm your vessel and your dripper. Hello fellow fans, fellow Drops fans, coffee lovers everywhere. My name is Haley. I am your local resident Q grader coming at you live from the pink or gray room studios uh, at Fellows San Francisco storefront and playground. I'm here to talk to you today about a delicious coffee from our friends over at Black and White. It is a Columbia Gabriel Castano uh, pink bourbon. It's an anaerobic washed coffee. Um, super, super delicious. And before I get into why it's so amazing, I'm gonna get into the recipe. So, I'm using 23 grams of coffee in to, to, to the, <laughs> I can't talk today, I've been having a day this whole day. Um, 23 grams of coffee to 350 grams out. Um, I am brewing at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. I ground medium coarse, so at 60 Gen 2, 7 Ode with SSP, and that is a 5 on Ode Gen 1. So again, medium coarse, we're going for a quick brew. Um, I agitated, you saw me agitate after I poured the second pour up to 150, I waited till the water level receded. Receded? This is not a river, this is coffee. Um, the water level dropped enough to where I could agitate about five times. Um, and then I, am, and I poured up to 250 after that, then 350 would be the end. I uh, bloomed about 46 to 50 grams, somewhere in there for about 35 seconds. And yeah, like I said, super delicious coffee. Let's get into why it's so cool. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank our friends over at Black and White Coffee Roasters for sending this over. Uh, we're super enamored with it. They said that we would love it. I think they only sent like one sample and I mean, spot on. Um, it's a super clean, washed anaerobic coffee. We're tasting a lot of orange, a lot of white florals, hibiscus also, uh, some berry sweetness in there. It's clean, it's expressive, it's super. The structure just really, really holds um, from hot to cold. It'd probably be really delicious also as an iced coffee. I know it's delicious as espresso. Um, some colleagues of mine were pulling some espresso at the office, the fellow headquarters the other day, and they were super, super into it. Um, so feel free and definitely be inclined to uh, go over and check out our brew guidance um, for espresso, for pulling espresso on this coffee, which is on our blog post on our website. As always, ordering from Fellow Drops is easy. All you have to do is text us back the number of coffees that you would want, bags that you would want, uh, one, two, five, however many. If you don't text us back, we won't send you any coffee and we won't charge you. We'll just text you the next week with a, another well-selected selection. Well-selected, see, can't talk. I don't know why, I, don't, I should just brew coffee. I don't even know why talking is necessary. As always, if you would like to talk to us, please leave a comment, question, suggestion, or just drop a line in the comment section. I love to hear from you and I will be reading through them. And if you have not checked out this wonderful piece of equipment, this wonderful gear to add to your brew bar yet, Tally, go to our website, fellowproducts.com. Tally is out. It is ready to be one of the best additions, one of the most powerful additions to your brew bar, rounding out all of your fellow gear. I love it. It is such a wonderful addition to my brew bar. Brew assist mode, uh, calculating, calculating ratios and stuff is a thing of the past. I love it. So go check it out on fellowproducts.com. And also, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week for another brew guide video. And I'm going to go drink all of this coffee right now. Cheers, guys.